Meanwhile, an individual, Saka Salia, has filed a writ of summons at the Accra High Court of Justice against the, uh, the giving out of the electricity company of Ghana, ECG, on concession. The plaintiff says government of Ghana acting through ministries of power and finance in concert with the second defendant, MIDA, have advertised, received bids, and shortlisted six companies in the private sector participation in ECG concession. Included in the writ as defendants are the Attorney General as first defendant, MIDA as a second defendant, PURC as a third, and the fourth defendant being the Energy Commission. We're going to straight onto the telephone lines now and speak with Saka Salia himself, uh, who is a plaintiff and spokesperson for the Truth and Accountability Forum. Uh, good evening, uh, Mr. Salia. Uh, good evening. Mm. Uh, there are those who say this is a pretty brave move. Uh, what motivated you to first uh, make the decision to sue MIDA, PURC, Energy Commission, and the Attorney General? Yeah, thank you very much, and good evening to our cherished listeners. First of all, I, I, I am not suing on behalf of uh, Truth and Accountability Forum. I'm suing on my personal capacity, taking inspiration from Article 41. Mm. Mr. Saleh, I'll be grateful if you raise your voice a bit uh, so we can hear <clears throat> you clearer. Uh, okay, yes. all right. Yes, I, I, I said I'm not suing on behalf of uh, any group. That's right. Even though I'm the spokesperson for the Truth and Accountability Forum, I have sued on my own personal behalf, As a taking private... inspiration from Article 41, mm. Jean, that actually uh, 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 requires us, you know, to protect and preserve the public property. That's right. Yes, uh, we we've all heard of the raging debate between government of Ghana, uh, MIDA, and even PAU. That is a, a public uh, utility uh, 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 public workers, you know, union of the electricity corporation, mm. and all that. It is based on this that I decided that let me go in delve much into this whole agreement, the concession agreement, to find out what really the problem is, whether in the end it will yield to the benefit of the people. Where in my search, I found you know, a lot of things that mm. actually prove that indeed things are not even the way it's supposed to be. Right, so those things are the basis for which you're going to court. I wouldn't want us to discuss the substantive issues within that case because it will be before the court pretty shortly, but I need to have an understanding whether your whole point or your whole is the concession of or the length of the concession, which is 25 years. Well, I mean, it, my reason for going to court is it, it's not about the propriety or otherwise of, of, of the concession. Mm. It has to do with the with the, with, the, with the fraud that that has been perpetrated uh, uh, through the process in the, in the process because Mida, we all know, is the the lead uh, agency that is you know uh, 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 about to do the implementation. The lead agency aiding for the implementation or the takeover of, uh, uh, by this concessionaire. Mm -hmm. And then we have IFC, that is International Finance Corporation, that is supposed to be the, the transaction advisors. You know, in, in all this, they are supposed to come out with a, a, a tariff methodology as well as a, a licensing document for the, you know, whoever mm -hmm. will take over. And the, my, minded of the fact that we have laws in this country, they were told mm -hmm. in the agreement and that they should not do anything that would compromise the independence of PURC mm -hmm. and Energy Commission. But what has happened is that they, on their own, have gone to do something purporting that what they have done is coming from PURC and Energy Commission. So, so that's, what, that's what you're referring to as fraud. But are you not going overboard, I mean, describing these processes as fraudulent? What I, I am seeing is that they fraudulently acquired, altered, initiated, and circulating a document that is not that they are not supposed to be to to mm. to, to, to that is not so they, they are not supposed to do. Uh, if you you know go and then do draft tariff methodology, the only body that is given the exclusive right to do tariff methodology. Is the PRC. It's the PRC. Mm. Okay. I mean, by the Act 538. You, you get it. So I that do. if you go and do that and purport 
that this is coming from PUSD. Then it's an act that one can say you are you are you you you, you are perpetrating on the people of this country. Mm, so you couldn't that have you couldn't have taken obtained. yeah yeah you, you you get a point yes. and and to that extent I have taken this matter to court to to to, to annul the process okay. in so far as the the the, the, the so called or in so far as the document that is fraudulently acquired hmm. is part of the processes. That has led us to this speech. But uh, there are many who ask the question, why you waited this long? I mean, the concession processes have gone so far in the, in the, in the, in the scheme of things that there are those who think that this uh, court case of yours is only uh, mischievously intended to stampede the process. I've not waited so long. I have taken steps to ensure that I right the wrong because I have written to PUIC to, 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 to inquire whether they are aware of the, 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 of, of the document that, has, that is being authored by MEDA. Mm. Up to now, PUIC has not responded to my request. Okay. Even though it's, it's, it's over a month now, I've also written to the Energy Commission inquiring to know whether they are aware of such document that is in circulation. They have refused to reply to my request. Mm. And I, I cannot sit down aloof and allow such a thing to be perpetuated on right. the people of this country. Mm, I can imagine that is the that. reason why the, 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 the final arbiter that can hear us as to whether what they did was lawful or unlawful is a court. And that mm. is the, the, the propitious time that we can take this matter to court. So of all we the, cannot wait any longer. Of all the reliefs you sought, I saw the... Uh, your statement of claim, uh, the writ yesterday, yeah. of all the re reliefs you're seeking, which of them are the most pressing for you? Let's say the, 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 the three key reliefs you're seeking in this matter, what are they? Yeah, I mean, the, the, the most pressing of them is to annul the whole process. Mm. Because uh, we all know fraud vicious Everton. If uh, we have also even petitioned the, the, the US government, in that case, I know very well that the laws that governs their the, the entities that operate in other jurisdictions. So the, the, the person of them all is the fact that the, 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 the media as well as IFC have, you know, forged a document that is completely in variance with all laws. Right. They have violated Act 541, that is the, the, the Energy Commission Act, and they have violated Act 538, that is the PURC Act. And to that extent, we want the processes so far to be unknown, and that there should be pronouncement to ensure that they the, 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 the comply with the laws of this country, mm -hmm. rather than violating it. Right. Uh, we're very grateful for our time. Mr. Sako Salia is uh, a private citizen which has take, who has taken the... Uh, the case of a concession, ECG concession to court, and citing MEDA, PURC, the Energy Commission, and the Attorney General in his suit, you, you heard um, him explaining the basis of this issue there. Right, uh, so we're, we're, we're trying to get onto the telephone lines to uh, get to do some other discussions in connection with the Ghana Gas Company. Uh, we do have... Um, Ishmael Ajikum here with uh, Kumasi Institute of Technology, Kite, joining us. Uh, good evening, sir. Thank you very much for your time. So uh, there is this matter going before the court. You think that it's a good uh, way of challenging the concession? Well, let me, let me say, greet your, your viewers. Um, I guess whether it's good or, or, or not, it's not for me to say. I think mm. uh, the individual has exercised it's right. Um, so, and also the matter is before court. So, I mean, those of us who are not lawyers, we know we have to be careful. Mm. But um, whether or not the, 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 the rate or the suit to join the succeed, I'm, I'm not quite sure. You're not quite like, sure. Why, yeah, do you, why do you have doubts about that? Do you think that uh, the process I has the, far uh, advanced, that it is impossible to stall it or to stop it as the plaintiff is seeking? Okay, um, well, from, from even legal precedent, mm. uh, where agreements have gone through parliament and, and 
is been ratified by Parliament. And I haven't seen that many being overturned. And maybe they can, the seat can delay the process. But um, I, I have my doubts, even though I'm not a lawyer. Mm. I have my doubts whether we can overturn it. And it's because it's one of those appeals that I don't think was done in secret. So okay. it looks as if uh, the pool and the ECG staff they woke up a bit too late because some of the some of the um, some of the is actually exactly what will deliver efficiency to the uh, electricity company of Ghana. Well, I I think we need to solve a problem, which is the liquidity constraints that ECG has. Mm. And I believe if there's a way in which the owner of the utility, which is the government, can find money for them, then probably they don't need any private sector money to do that. But I think for some time now, it's clear that the power utilities can no longer rely on the owner of the utilities to provide mm, But the owner of the utility has been using the service without paying. And that's what the workers have been saying. That if okay, government, so, government so goes all ahead that, to All pay, that I'm saying mm, is that yeah. let's get all the money that uh, the, the owner is owing. Is them. owing. That's right. Okay. Let them pay all of that. And let's see whether they still and don't need we, we wouldn't have needed a concession exactly. if they paid. So, mm. so, so that's one. But, I, so the, but whether or not the concession will be able to address our problem, I think it depends it's on all another matter. the final concession agreement, the agreement that we're going to have. Because, you see, if we go and uh, sign a very loose concession and don't know even the kind of obligations that the concessionaire is supposed to bring to bear, then it might end up being another, almost like a management contract. Right, uh, Mr. Jagumini. We're grateful. We might have to leave it here. We're running out of time. But thanks very much uh, for your time. Mr. Ishmael Ejekumine is with the Kumasi Institute of Technology and Environment, Kaiten. Here in Accra, my name is Stephen Enti. We do have more news for you. We'll take a break. We'll be right back.